Hi everyone and welcome back to my virtual classroom. For our Maths EC episode today, we will be learning about the order of operations. So let's get started. Our topic for today is about the order of operations. Here we will appreciate that in maths we evaluate operations in a particular order according to Vidmas. Some call it PEMDAS or BODMAS. And we will be able to evaluate a few more examples. Now here in the order of operations we have brackets first followed by those with indices or power and then we have division and multiplication. Now here in division and multiplication, since they are of the same level, that means we have to work with the operation if it appears to be in multiple parts of the equation or expression given, we have to do the operations from left to right accordingly. And that will also be the same with addition and subtraction. And by the way, with subtraction, this includes negation or the negative sign. So this is how it is being preceded. We follow brackets first, indices next, division and multiplication accordingly from left to right, addition and subtraction accordingly from left to right. So what is the precedence of the operators? For example, the order we do the operations in. We are given 1 plus 2 times 3 plus 4 brackets to the power of 2. In here, we do the brackets first. So we have 1 plus 2 times 7 to the power of 2, followed by the indices or the power. We have 1 plus 2 times 49. Then we have the multiplication. That's 1 plus 2 times 49 will be 98. And then we do the addition. Therefore, in this operation or this expression, Following BIDMAS, our final answer will be 99. Now let's take this for example. If we want to do minus 3 and then squared, why do we need the brackets then? The brackets forces the negation to be done first before the squaring, as otherwise, according to BIDMAS, the power or the index would be done first. So here, between the negation, which is subtraction, and the power or the index, the index comes first because of the absence of the bracket. So this will be negative times 9. So it will be negative 9. Now on the other example, negative 3 is inside the brackets. Therefore, the, neg the negation will be done first before squaring. So this will be actually negative 3 times negative 3. So this will be positive 9. Now if we have 20 minus 3 plus 2, according to BIDMAS, we have addition and subtraction which is of the same precedence. So therefore, we evaluate it from left to right. So from left, 20 minus 3 will be 17 and then we add 2. That will give us 19. Now let's try this. We have 1 minus bracket 4 times 2 plus 3. So that means that we have to do those inside the brackets first. And since there are two operations inside, we follow the rule of BIDMAS and do the multiplication first. So this will be 1 minus open brackets. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 3, close. And then 1 minus 8 plus 3 will be 11. And then 1 minus 11 will be negative 10. Another example, we have 8 divided by 4 times 2. So since we have division and multiplication of the same, we do the evaluation from left to right. So 8 divided by 4 will be 2 times 2 will be 4. The last example, we have 3 plus 2 brackets to the power of 2 
plus 3 times 2. Again, we do those inside the bracket first. So that will be 3 plus 2, which is 5 to the power of 2, plus 3 times 2. 5 to the power of 2 is 25 plus 3 times 2. Now between addition and multiplication, multiplication comes first. So that's 25 plus 3 times 2 is 6. 25 plus 6 will be 31. Now it's your turn. All right, so let's answer. For the first one, you have two square plus nine times five minus three on brackets. So we do brackets first. That will be two square plus nine times five minus three will be two. And then we do the index. So two square is four plus nine times two. And when we do the multiplication, that's four plus nine times two is 18 and then we do the addition 4 plus 18 will be 22. Second example we do the brackets first so that's 3 times 4 plus 2 is 6 minus 10 divided by 2. Now since we have the same precedence or level of operation multiplication and division we do it from left to right accordingly. So 3 times 6 will be 18 minus 10 divided by 2 will be 5. So 18 minus 5 will be 13. The last example, we do the operations separately, one from the numerator and the other from the denominator. So for your numerator, we do the brackets first, and that is with a power of 2, so negative 3 brackets to the power of 2 will be positive 9. Plus 8 divided by 2. And then in your denominator, 3 square is 9 plus 2 square is 4. Then we do the division in the numerator. That's 9 plus 8 divided by 2 is 4 over 9 plus 4. Therefore, 9 plus 4 will be 13 over 9 plus 4, 13. 13 divided by 13 will be equal to 1. I hope that you have learned something new today. And for those that are new to my class, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for your attendance today. As always, as Teacher Maria would say, please do live your life to the fullest, learn something new every day, and love one another as how our God loves us. See you next episode for Matt's Easy Series. Bye!